I'm down in Orange County. Wow. What what a view to wake up to. Gonna head over one last look at the Mercy getting the ceramic coating done. That's a really cool process. I'm gonna show you guys how that's done. Get this day started. What's happening? Hey, my son loves you, man. How you doing? Oh, this I is know awesome. Like let's see. Selfies, man. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, Landon. Dude, what's up? Your dad picked me up, bro. Vlogs on vlogs on vlogs. How you doing today? We're gonna fix this this time. Dude, oh yeah, the pound. But just keep it simple. <laughs> okay guys, quick update on the Mercy. Touching up a couple of areas, using a little bit of Plasti Dip where we obviously just can't get the wrap in to get rid of the yellow. I was like, delete the yellow at all costs. So we're getting rid of some of the, the yellow that was showing right in here. Just paint that out a little bit. So when obviously the hood's closed, you're not gonna see the yellow in the crease. These guys are killing it, killing it. But we're almost there, we're at the home stretch. You don't really even see yellow anywhere anymore. Look at the mirrors. Look how good of a job they did with the mirrors. I'll tell you right now, not from my experience, but knowing from talking to many, many people who do wrapping, mirrors are some of the most complicated areas to wrap. They're a real pain in the butt. So deleting some of the yellow in here, but oh, look how crazy that back end looks. Ah, oh, I just love it. And they went and finally they wrapped all this over the gas cover and look at the detail all down in here, all the door jams underneath. Best in the business, man, best in the business. From this stage, it's gonna go to the next building where they do the ceramic coating, coating with Glons. Okay, we're gonna leave this car here for now. We're gonna grab the McLaren the PFS Baby Mac. Oh, yes. Doors that go up, club. Ready for the startup? Oh, hold on. I gotta have the key inside the car in order for the car to start. Duh. I saw a really special car. Seriously special car across the street. Damn, look at that. You guys went ham on this thing. Yeah. So you got it's a it's white wrap. Yeah, it's a clear wall. Yeah. We went over the whole car. And then these are all customers. Well, it was started as all customers for an event we did, and then uh, we've had a few car shows where people have been signed as well. Dude, someone that's really good. Yeah. I love it. Like all the doodles all over it. It's just covered. <laughs> Sweet. Now, I was actually more shocked of what's sitting right over here. 600 LT. A 600 LT, you guys, look at this. Oh, hold on. Quick interruption by uh, Makan. I had no idea this was just gonna be chilling here with the windows down, of, of all things. So is this a dealership car? No way. So is this a demo or what is this, for yep. sale or what? A demo. A demo. So I can get the keys to this. <laughs> you see how short hesitation? I'll ask Nick for them, don't worry. Very cool. These exhausts. Does this thing actually shoot flames? Get it hot enough well. Really? Like stock? Yep. I as thought that was just a marketing hot. thing. I was like, how can they have a car that legally shoots flames in the United States? That's what I'm wondering as well. Yeah, you're wondering yeah. too, right? Especially with the, the new exhaust law starting yeah. January 1st. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they might be ahead of themselves on that one. Oh, white and black. Yeah. This is sweet. Oh, this is like a, it's like a two-tone. Well, they put this finish so that way for the heat. So, so it comes from the factory like that? Yeah. And then so this, this is for, this is protecting this. Yeah. And then this could be carbon fiber. Very cool. I like this exhaust design. That's so sick. This is a, 
You know, I'm not gonna say it's maybe a page out of the old 918. Ah. Travis? How's it going? Whoa, careful where you point that thing. My girlfriend's not supposed to know that I'm drinking <laughs> Oh, <laughs> your girlfriend probably doesn't watch my vlog. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Ah, uh, snap. Mr. Nick Jones. Hello. You, you survived the holiday, sir. I did. Double decker. From Missouri. The double decker uh, party boat. Yeah. Went well? Yeah, yeah, no crashes, nobody fell in the water, we were all good, <laughs> we danced like morons. <laughs> That's the way it should be, man. What is that? This is the Vision GT. So this was something that was designed by Rob Melville and Alex Alexi from Holy. McLaren. Holy. And it was designed for, uh, every manufacturer does a Vision GT. Uh, yeah. Bugatti did it, and um, it's basically your Gran Turismo. It's your look into the future of what cars could look like in 20 years or 30 years. So this was built for PlayStation, yep. and uh, so you can race this on the Gran Turismo game. Uh, and so what McLaren did with Amalgam is they went and did a collaboration and they made 91 of these models. Oh, wow. This is neat because you actually, the driver sits in a motorcycle position. Um, it's a single seater, central, uh, central seating position, and then you have the front brakes which are actually inboard here. So if you look on YouTube and you watch the video on how they designed this thing in 3D, uh, the driver can actually see the brake disc glowing red right in front of his eyes. Whoa! They have to make one of these. They made the Bugatti version, as we know, it lives down in he down here in Southern California. Um, that would be cool to be the guy who could buy this. You know wow! I mean? That is so insane. Holy moly! Got a little bit of a, a little bit of a splitter, a very small splitter there. Okay, <laughs> coolest thing I've seen all day. But I hear you have a Lamborghini. Now, is it pronounced Ur Urus or Urus or what? How do we do this? I say Urus. 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 All right, that's how we're rolling with I'm it. I'm not Italian though. Yeah, I'm not either, and <laughs> I can I mispronounce everything. That's right. a Senna wheel. Senna wheel. Sen what? <gasps> Look at how I'm waving that around. That's a full-on wheel? Yeah. Like that's what's on the car? Uh, no, it's optional uh, through the dealer market. So what we can do is customer, once they take delivery of their Senna, they can order them through the dealerships and we can uh, fit them after the fact. Carbon. So this is it. The Urus. The Urus. Is that your dirty? That is my dirty Raptor. I'm gonna try and go get it more and more dirty this weekend, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So this thing, tell me about this, this is a, Twin turbo. So twin turbo V8. It's yeah. um, so this is an eight-speed gearbox. Uh, the car is all-wheel steering uh, as well as all-wheel drive. Oh, I didn't know um, that. You have a bunch of different driving modes. You have three driving modes for on pavement and three driving modes for off pavement, depending on what the scenario is. Whether you're in ice or snow or mud or sand. Right. You're just gonna do some rock crawling. You can raise the suspension up or you can drop it down. So this is the correct five-seater option. There's a four-seater option. That is correct. You yeah. have bucket you right, can like do seats. Captain seats in the rear that recline. Uh, they can ventilate and heat as well. Look at this thing, you guys. Oh, I'm really excited. Thanks for this opportunity. So. Got, Let's fire it up. We'll put the AC on, right? You gotta be warm, you got a jacket on. <laughs> That's all right. So this is amazing. So you have mul multiple modes here based on the Correct. switches you're about to show me. Yeah, so you have a lever right here, uh, which will go through three different settings for on-road. So just like what we see in the Huracan and the Aventador, you got Strata Sport and Corsa. Okay. These will adjust not only the throttle response, it'll change also the graphics in the center, in the uh, instrument cluster. So there's Strata. Strata. There's Sport. Sport. You, you'll also see now you get a G meter over here and it'll change the rev mapping. If you go into Corsa, now with Corsa, you're shutting off a lot of the precognition things such as uh, automatic braking and lane departure modes and stuff because now you're in more of a race inspired environment. Yep. You're also gonna get a horizontal uh, RPM display and you're gonna get shift lights as well as up in the heads up display. I don't think you'd probably be able to catch it on a film, but you have a heads up display and it'll give you shift lights in your heads up display as well. Yeah, you can kind of see it there floating on the car in front of us. Okay. You can open up the sunroof if you want, yeah. just like a normal car. You have sunshades, so you can close everything if you want to block out the sun. Yeah. You also have three modes for all-terrain, uh, mud and sand, and snow and ice. You have ego mode, and so ego allows you to go in and do more of a specified um, powertrain steering and suspension setting. So if you don't like the pre-selected settings that they have over here, then you can go over through here, and in the instrument cluster you'll see, you can adjust smooth, medium, sportive, 
and you can adjust it how you like the car. Jeez. Ego. And then the one thing that everybody <laughs> Just wants, what I need more of. Side camera here, rear view camera here, or front angle, but the one that everybody likes is the three-dimensional camera. So this what? is the one where you can actually look in a full 360 degree. Now what's really cool is put the car in first gear. Right. And see the wheels will turn. No. Like I'm moving and it's moving. Lambo's got it figured out. I'm having out. a few of those moments. Yeah. That's well, I mean, amazing. Look at all these camera angles you can do. So those you have are different all ones for different rock crawling. Angle. So you can get like a, a front on view. And you'll see you can go 180 camera if you want. They so. really made this to be driven. That's what's really cool about this brand is they're not just these pretty cars that they're designing to be, you know, garage queens. Like a, unfortunately a bunch of people buy them and store them and do whatever. They're more, they're on board with the DD. Driven. Currently in sport, you guys. Look at that. That's super cool. It rides so nice. Man, the feel of this is, it's just so, I mean, it's sporty, but it's like, it's got that firmness, but also you don't feel every single bump on the road as you would more so in one of the cars. And it's like... Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that quick. And we'll do like three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, and the downshifts. I'm not even using the paddles because the transmission and the electronics are so tuned and so dialed in that this car is just, it's driving at its most optimal level. In fact, probably better than a human could shift if you were trying to look down or look at the heads up display to shift. This thing's just hitting them perfectly. This thing is really quick. Man. Yeah, it's good. Like, you see how fast that blue car in the right lane disappeared? <laughs> All right, you know what this means. Hmm, waiting for that to change to see what this thing's got. I don't know, we got a Subaru off to our right. Subaru to the right, Explorer to the right, left. Oh, Woo! How do we do? Did we win? Anyone back there? Yeah. And we're back. World's shortest, yet almost probably satisfying test drive I've ever been on. Like, listen to that thing. It's just so cool. We're in a we're in an SUV, you guys. Lamborghini. And that concludes our short drive of the Urus. I said the wheels look really nice, but Nick was telling me, so tell me about this. So these are the largest brakes on any production vehicle right now in existence, so. Bigger than a Chiron. Bigger than a Chiron. Bigger than what we have on a Ventador S or 720S or Ferraris or anything. They're huge. They're 10 piston calipers up front. The disc rotors are a little over 17 inches in diameter. No. Massive carbon ceramic brakes, even the rear brakes. That is nuts. And so what size, this is a, this is a 22 inch rim. We're gonna go up to AGX you guys now and basically deliver the Mercy and see what, if anything is needing to be replaced or fixed or tweaked or tuned up with that engine because it needs to be in DDE proof mode. All right guys, thanks again. We'll see you soon. All right, let's go return Ryan's car. Look at that. Look how, more, how much more aggressive that diffuser is and we need to see this shooting flames like in person shooting flames so here's a big difference louvered fenders on this one by the way you guys want to know what the louvered fender option is you don't want to know that is like fifteen thousand dollars
Alex Alexiev that uh, Nick was telling you about, he's inside right now. He just walked in right behind you. The guy who designed the model of the Vision GT thing? Yeah. Okay, we gotta go yeah. meet him. <laughs> this guy live down here? No, he lives in England. He lives in yeah, England. He just randomly walked into the store. Let's go say hi. Alexis. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. You, you designed that crazy car in the box. I may the box. have. May have. You yes. may have. What, what, where does that come from? So that's uh, the McLaren Ultimate Division GT. So that was a car we did for uh, the Gran Turismo Sport game. It yeah. came out last year. And uh, yeah, so it was a little bit of a, a look-see into the future of what not only gaming, but uh, a vision of what McLaren and what the ultimate hypercar. I'm putting in my order. Let's do this. Let's do this <laughs> right good. now. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Right? Exactly. Send money. <laughs> you guys have pens. You're going to go out and draw on the car? I yes, think so. Are I you going to draw gonna a go... car on the car? Because that would let's be fun. Let's do it, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'll watch this. What's that? That's insane. <laughs> I couldn't draw a car for the life of me. Like, not even remotely close. You want to see me try next? I might, I might just stick to signing my name. Thanks, guys. Hey. Right, yeah, very nice to meet you, yeah. Turbo S exclusive. Is that what that is? You just got it. Dude, it's super cool. I'm gonna park it right now. Look at the wheels. Damn. Fonte. Look who's here, you guys. Kevin. Hey, what up? You brought the truck. Yeah, after I bought it, I didn't drive it. The first time I really drive it. Yeah, it's like brand it. new. Yeah. And this thing's like, it's manual, so it's kind of unique. Kevin's the manual gearbox guy. How you been? Pretty good. Pretty good to see you. You want to see the car? Sure. This thing's fun to drive. Makes such different noises from my car, because it's all turbo, right? Hey, we'll give you a teaser. We're just putting on the final logos. This is where it's going to break it up a little. You might get a little bit better of a vision on how this is looking. Ready? There you guys go. Bam. So, of course, we got the DD on the door. My lucky number. We got my boys logos, PFS, Kawan Ceramic. And uh, up here on the front, if you don't know what this logo is, that is Skeppel's logo for their company. Skeppel is the design house that renders all these amazing wraps. So they designed the SVJ. My version of the SVJ cam will for me. So if you need something designed, hit them up. Um, you can find them on Instagram, Skeppel, S-K-E-P-P-L-E. -P -P -E. And we got the front. All right, you'll see the final reveal sometime tomorrow because there's little bits and pieces. Actually, I'll show you. But I'm not going to show you guys yet. There's little things that we've done. And we made it. Back to AGX. Go check up on Kevin's car. The challenge car. And the NSX. And who knows if he's dropped any other cars off. What's up? What up, man? How are you? How was your Christmas? How was yours? Mine was amazing. I met Santa. He brought me everything I wanted. <laughs> oh, nice. look how dirty Mr. Mark Giver's been getting Givered. I've been fighting with an NSX. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Is that from our night? The entire wheel well is that way. Is that? Oh wow! It's like a. It's a. It's a burnt rubber rainbow. I don't think you should have put tires on it. The tires technically are still on the car. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Are you making a mess on my floor? Uh. On? No. What's going on with the 458 Challenge car? We do have an oil leak to address, and then what we actually have to do is uh, take the rack and pinion out and remove the steering limiter kit that the Challenge car runs that the 458 does not. So there's, it's, so there's you... no difference. Oh yeah, it's gonna be horrible. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna own that hat before the night's over. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're telling me is the really awful lack of degree to turn the wheel is not something that requires an entire steering rack. It just needs the limiter kit taken out. Yeah, basically the race car parts. That's have good to be news taken for out. you. Yeah. So you take the parts out, cost him no money other than your time, and he doesn't have to buy a new rack. Well, you know the fun part. You ready for the fun part? 
<laughs> You're gonna love this. What's the All fun? Right. Look at look at Kevin. Kevin's got his hand on his chin. Wheels off the car again. You gotta take the what? The front wheels have to come back off again. Oh yeah, you gotta remove this. Yeah. Okay. So what's under here? I've never seen under a challenge car. Well, this entire wow. Is engine mounts. Engine mounts. Wow, this is cool. Sam was replaced. Would you guys stop screwing around? Like, what's going on here? What's going on here? Hey, here. Zip ties and screws? Was that really in the like? Well, this belongs in the diffuser. <laughs> All right. You painted hey. this yourself, did yeah, you not? I did. He painted this. Comes custom with what looks like, looks like you're in Canada where it's like the water's frozen, but. Hear that? that no, that, that's like, that's like, that's clear code or that's pearl. That's art. That's oh, <laughs> art. that's art. Yeah. Hey, David, right now you are the last guy on earth that should be talking about front bumpers. The whole yeah. lower section is gone. This piece used oh. to live somewhere. Yeah, somewhere on there. That was a piece of. It used to live somewhere right there. Yeah, something like that. Okay, we're we both artists. Artists. We're both artists. artists. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Oh, the big boys. It's not a Lamborghini V12 unless you can taste the fuel. <laughs> saying that the mercy seats are not good. What do you mean? It's not comfortable. Don't rally. Don't what? Don't rally. Okay. That sounds like a challenge to me. Well, how are those seats any different than these seats? I don't know, about three inches wider and a lot more padding. Really? Not that you need the padding, but just saying. Like this looks like a similar seat, bro. Except uh, this is a whole lot wider. You actually have cushion and padding in it. So the, the and like a nice bolster. The mercy seat doesn't have that. It's just I haven't crazy. spent enough time in it yet. Well, what did I buy? Guess what? You're gonna have the fun uh, adventure of figuring it out. So, it really kind of what's amazing. going on with this McLaren? Mark, please tell us. This is gonna get the full Delta Delta Echo carbon package. So, complete upgrade of the brake system, the full carbon ceramics. Oh, so this guy's gonna upgrade to ceramics. Yeah. So this is a cool car though. This is the GT, so it's got the, the full kind of pano roof. Look, you can see right in there. He's got the uh, red guts. full red guts. Hey? Ooh, yeah, that is, uh, who likes red leather interiors? Bumper is amazing. It like, really Vorsteiner is really gorgeous. I can tell you that now that the wing has the rear diffuser on the back of it, it all makes so much more sense. Bang! <laughs> Scared me. Yeah, what do you think of the engine being carbon? Oh, that looks good. It's cool. Something to be different. Yeah, different. I like it. I like it. Goes with the wing, goes with the, 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 the pattern of all of this. Crazy rear bumper. Just, I do kind of miss mine at times. The, the thought is maybe we put red paneling in here. Just here and here, not the lip. Gonna mess with that tomorrow. Well, you know, if Jamie puts that in the vlog, you'll hear everybody's opinion <laughs> on it. Yeah. I'm out, I'll see you tomorrow. If tomorrow. They don't say yes. Bring in the mercy. Big day tomorrow. Big day, bring in the mercy. Yeah. Guys, go to shopdd.com, smash the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye.